And we're back, guys. Tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Looks like a blowout early on, ladies and gentlemen. Arena Sabalenka just comes out heat-seeking missile straight laser beams, and she's dominating. As you can see, she's making a lot of faults, but she's not getting the double faults. Now, one thing I've always liked about Sabalenka is, and this is how, look, I say it all the time, this is how I would coach tennis. Listen, we play to get the ball and serve. If we get a double fault, then you know what? That second serve has got to be as strong as your first serve. Because why are we going to give an opponent a free point, a free opportunity to tee off on a weak serve with 20 to 30 less miles per hour? In this particular match, Sabalenka is making a lot of faults. But on the second serve, she's still going hard and she's getting them in. But she's taking her time. Remember, there's no serve clock on the second serve. She's taking her time on the second serve, making sure she focuses, takes a deep breath. And uh, really good, really good. I, I love Sabalenka with the second serve. She goes really hard. And listen, we look, I say it all the time. A few years ago, she was averaging 20 double faults a match. But she hired a uh, she hired a serve coach, right? She hired someone in particular to work on her motion and her technique. It's worked a lot. I think Alicia Parks, you know, the leading acer per match. I think uh, once she gets some big game checks and she starts to get that really, really good coaching and takes it to the next level. And I mean, look, her coaches this far, she's had really superb coaches, but you can always add on someone to your team. We saw Coco with, uh, with uh, Coach Reba, she added on Brad Gilbert. You know, you can always add on, and she's had Patrick, she's had Rick Macy, Alicia Parks had Rick Macy as well. They've all had good coaches, but you can always bring on an extra person to help the team. And uh, watch out for Alicia Parks. First season on tour, watch out two to three years. She's going to be amazing. But Sabalenka, listen, she's won literally 90% of the last 11 points. She's dominating Kenwin. And look, I said it in the previous video, Kenwin's very powerful, but when you're facing another person that's stronger than you, that's going to affect your 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 ability to return, right? And we're seeing that early on here. I think Sabalenka's mentally focused. Guys, I showed you the last video when she uh, took out Dasha, how calm and scary she looked. Mentally, something is clicking there, right? And she knows she's the world's number one now. That's been her dream. She said it for a while. But um, yeah, she's not making the double fault. She is making the fault. So I'm trying to give you guys good picks that are even money return. So if she can hold on, that's going to win for you. Uh, but like I said, this match is going to be a two-set match. I don't see anything Kim Wink can do to come back in the second set. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm pointing you on the right side. So hopefully you guys are understanding what I'm trying. When I say under... That should click for you. Uh, tennis in a minute. I'm your host, Good Energy. Ten minutes in, guys. We're seeing blowouts here. Sabalenka's got three service games already and uh, huge paydays out there. Can Kenwin force a third set? She's going to have to win the second set because right now she she looks nervous.